right here. But if I go home with one good composition, that's good enough for me. And then what I'm doing is I'm just checking the sky every minute or so, seeing if the sky is coming out the exposure I want. In other words, I want to see if the sky lines up on the This. I want to try this too.
So I hope you liked that little montage of building this baby here. And I want to share some more information and background infos about this project. So in case you want to build one by yourself, you have it a bit easier than me. This camera is fully open source. Um, you can download the files you need to print this from printables.com and it's created by Morten Kolbe. I hope I pronounced this correctly. I'm sorry if I didn't. And he remixed the model of somebody else to create this. It's fully 3D printed, except for some screws, and I used PLA Plus to print this. The print time for all of this was about 80 hours, so quite a long time but I still managed to get it done. The next big thing you need to do some research on is the lens because it needs to have some pretty specific um, abilities to work for this kind of camera. The first lens I wanted to use was a Fushinon SWD 90mm f5.6 uh, f lens. Um, this one here yeah, as you can see it's pretty massive and would be a really beautiful lens but unfortunately that lens didn't work because it's too big, it simply is too big. The rear element of the lens uh, did not fit into this cone here so I unfortunately I couldn't use this one. And yeah, I don't know, maybe I will use it for a 4x5 camera or something like that. So the lens I ended up using now um, is a Schneider Kreuznach Superangulon 90mm lens, f8 this time. f8 means, also means it's a little bit smaller, the front and the rear element, so it fits totally fine into this cone. Another thing you need um, is this helicoid, it's M65, that's the thread um, helicoid, so you can actually focus the camera. Maybe you can see this, it's like extended now. Um, you can also build this with a fixed cone and uh, then the lens is just fixed to infinity. Another thing you need to look out for when you are buying a lens for this kind of camera is the image circle the lens can produce. The negative of a 6x17 camera is quite big. Actually it's not completely 6x17 centimeters, it's more like 5.5 to 17 centimeters. To cover this big negative the lens needs an image circle of 17.867 centimeters or around about 18 centimeters or 180 millimeters just to be safe. And yeah that's one thing you need to look out for in the spec sheet of the lens. And the final big thing with these kind of cameras is the viewfinder. Um, you can buy some um, 6x17 viewfinders, but they are really expensive. So many people just use it on a tripod and use bubble levels to level it out and yeah, just guess the framing. Um, I'm not really a big fan of that. So I engineered a viewfinder by myself. I have no idea if this actually works. Uh, I hope so. It should work in theory, but I guess we will find out. So that's it for this video. I hope those background information were useful to you. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Leave them down in the comments below and I will gladly try to answer them. I will also put the link to the project on printables down into the description in case you want to print a camera like this yourself. If you like the video please give it a like and if you're not subscribed consider subscribing and we will see each other in the next one where we'll where we will try this big burger baby here. Peace.